Hi, today's topic will be focusing on LIT, which is lymphocyte immunotherapy. Now, we know that recurrent miscarriage has already uh, been diagnosed to be a problem uh, where there is a presence of a specific antibodies known as anti-embryonic antibodies. Now, this is the medical discovery of anti-hospital for uh, recurrent spontaneous abortions and its treatment success rates are up to 95%. But today I'd like to talk about an also quite common management method for recurrent miscarriage with very inconsistent success rates and also potential side effects but is still widely being used to treat recurrent miscarriage and we'd like to talk about why it shouldn't be the case. So LIT stands for lymphocyte immunotherapy and lymphocytes mean white blood cells. So the theory suggests that because a pregnancy consists of 50% maternal genes and 50% paternal genes. So LIT here can help uh, the mother to better accept the paternal genes that are uh, con consist within the embryo, better uh, acclimatize or prepare the mother's body for a pregnancy that will be consisting of 50% foreign material. How it works is that partner's blood sample to acquire is his uh, white blood cells. Upon uh, ultrafiltration and careful sequencing, they will acquire the white blood cells and then inject it into the uh, partner's bloodstream, which is the patient who is suffering from recurrent miscarriage. Uh, an important note here is that they also state that this has to be done on the same day, which means the blood sample acquired cannot be stored overnight. Otherwise, they would say it will not be effective. So by in injecting this uh, paternal uh, white blood cells into the mother's bloodstream, they believe that it can uh, boost in the immune system of the mother to better prepare her for the incoming pregnancy. They believe that it will increase certain T cells and also uh, antibodies within the mother that will help protect the pregnancy uh, to give it a full term and healthy pregnancy so that they can give birth to healthy children. Now, there are several research that is going uh, into this LIT therapy and done all over the world with very inconsistent results and also inconsistent protocol. A recent study done in the United States has made LIT immunotherapy completely banned in the United States by the FDA because they believe that not only it is ineffective, it can cause potential autoimmune disease within the patients uh, that undergo this treatment. So uh, this video serves as a reminder that you shouldn't go for LIT treatment if you are suffering from recurrent miscarriage. Although they might promise you that there is a certain success rate, LIT has already been disproven and there are several research studies that suggest that it can cause more harm than good. Now, if you want to receive treatment for recurrent miscarriage, here at Hospital, we own the patented diagnostics and treatment for recurrent miscarriage and we've already understood that the core reason behind it is the presence of these specific antibodies known as anti-embryonic antibodies. They are the ones that are present in your bloodstream and they are attacking the fetus during the early stage and our immunotherapy neutralizes this reaction and then securing you a healthy pregnancy with success rates up to 95% unlike lit therapy with inconsistent success rates. If you'd like to find out more information about LIT or, and also about Antai's immunotherapy, please visit our website. If you'd like to receive treatment, please arrange a consultation with us today.